Hello, today we're going to be comparing and contrasting vertical stretches and vertical shrinks when the same value is used. Here on the outside of the function, so that it multiplies all the y coordinates in the graph. And here on the inside of the function called the argument, because this divides all of the x coordinates, we're going to see how that works. And we're going to look at what happens to the graphs. First, here are one, two, three, four, five points, easy points on the graph of f of x equals the square root of x, which is our basic graph. It is in black. Right here. The red graph is a vertical stretch. Let's look at that one first. This five will multiply all of the y coordinates. So when we have zero, zero, you multiply five by zero, you still get zero. However, one, one becomes one, five, and four, two becomes four, 10. Nine, three becomes nine, 15, and 16, four, becomes 1620. Let's look at those. Try to ignore the blue graph for just a minute. Here we have zero, zero. Here we have one, one on the original graph. One, one. But multiplying by five, stretches that graph up to 1, 5. We start out with 4, 2. But this point gets stretched up to 4, 10. Same x coordinate. Here we have 9, 3. Ah, wrong graph, that's why. Nine, three. Here's little Bubba to say hello to everyone. Say hello, Bubba. I'm sure you will. All right, nine, three gets stretched up to nine, 15. And 16, four. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. 16.4 is stretched up to 16.4 Let's pull over a little bit. 16.4 is stretched up to 16.20. So vertical stretches are actually very straightforward. This graph is just the stretched version of this graph. Now let's look at a horizontal shrink. We're going to use the same number five, but now it's under the radical with the X. You would expect this to multiply the x coordinates, but no. As we talked about the other day, this five divides the x coordinates so that x equals zero remains x equals zero. x equals one becomes x equals 0.2 x equals 4, when it's divided by 5, becomes 0.8. 9 becomes 9 fifths, or 1.8. And 16 
excuse me, 16 becomes 3.2 when it's divided by 5. Meanwhile, the y coordinates remain the same. Let's see how that works. Zero, zero remains zero, zero. One, one is dragged backwards to the blue right here, which is at one, well, it's at point two, one. So one is dragged backwards to point two. But notice that the Y coordinates remain the same. Four two is dragged backwards to point eight. Two, right here. See, and here's this. Nine three is dragged backwards. Let's see, 9, 3 is dragged backwards to 9 fifths, which is 1.8, which would be about here. And there it is. So 9, 3 becomes 1.83. And sixteen four, boom, is dragged backwards to three point two, three point two, yes. So now we have three point two four. You see that the X coordinates are all getting scrunched. A very technical term. And that's the difference of the effect of this five, a number bigger than one, on a vertical stretch and a horizontal shrink. It all depends on position. Okay, now let's compare and contrast a vertical shrink with a horizontal stretch. And here are our three graphs right here. As you can see, the basic graph is now the highest. This is why equals the square root of x. Okay, now here, well here, yes, we do the red one first. All of the y coordinates here are going to be multiplied by 0.5, which is one half. So zero times zero times one half is zero. One times one half is one half. Two times one half is one. Three times one half is 1.5. And four times one half is two. Notice how all of the Y coordinates become smaller. In fact, they become smaller by half. Let's look. We're going to compare the black graph with the red graph, which is y equals 0.5 times the square root of x. So in the basic graph, we're going to have 0, 0. Of course, they all go to 0, 0. 
Now one one. Here's one one on the basic graph. But now here, that's been shrunk down to one one half. And here's one half. Or point five, same thing. Now we have nine three. Ah, four two. Let's do that one first. Four two on the basic graph. But that's been shrunk down by half. What is one half of two? It's one. So now we have the point four one instead of four two. Instead of nine three, we have nine one point five. One point five is half of three. So let's write that right here. One point five. And sixteen four. Here's sixteen four is shrunk down to half of four, which is two. So now we have the point sixteen two. Okay, now we're going to stretch out all of the x coordinates. Here's zero when it's multiplied by one half, point five, is still zero. But one, look what happens when it's multiplied, when it's divided by point five, becomes two. Whenever you divide a number by a fraction, a proper fraction, it's, it's made bigger, it's magnified. Here four, when it's divided by one half, becomes eight, twice as large. Nine becomes 18, 16 becomes 32. So let's take a look at this. One, one, well, this is dragged forward to two, one. Notice the graph gets lower when the X coordinates are stretched out, when they're pulled out. Okay, four two becomes eight two. And nine three is pulled out to eighteen three. And 16, 4 is pulled out to 32, 4. Because when you divide 16 by 0.5, you get 32. So all of these X coordinates have been stretched, but the stretched out by two, but the Y coordinates have stayed exactly the same. How about that? All right, this is what happens when 0.5 is on the outside of the function and 0.5 is on the inside of this function. It's a vertical shrink here because it lowers all the Y coordinates. But we have a horizontal stretch here 
because all of the X coordinates are stretched out. And that's our story. That's what we get. Our story, and I'm sticking to it, of the whole story, really, of vertical stretches and horizontal shrinks and vertical shrinks and horizontal stretches. They're not exact opposites at all. We have three different graphs and three different graphs, which means that vertical stretches, horizontal shrinks, vertical shrinks and horizontal stretches all have different effects on the basic graph. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. I hope this helps you understand transformations a little better.